What's happening, Anoka? I'm Emma Beck. And I'm Kyla Chesser. Today is Monday, December 11th. The Software Development Club and BPA are sponsoring an hour of code activity on Thursday, December 14th from 2.30 to 4 o'clock in B210. This is an opportunity for students to learn more about working in the growing computer technology field in a relaxed, fun way. Join us, bring a friend along, and enjoy some snacks while learning about coding. Educators Rising will have their next meeting on Tuesday, December 12th in the fax area right after school. See Mrs. Hale in the fax area if you have any questions. See you there! The BPA Door Challenge is an event where the students in their fourth period classes will have the opportunity to decorate their classroom door to show just how fun and creative their class is. This challenge is not only used to promote BPA, but allows students and staff a chance to promote what their class is all about. Students will be able to decorate their door all week and will then have the door judged during fifth period on Friday the 15th. Monday was the official start of Computer Science Week, and the Software Development Club slash BPA group wanted to share a few facts about computer science with you. Computer science careers are, the, are projected to grow by 12% through 2024. By comparison, the average rate for all occupations is 7%. The medium, medium annual salary for computer and information technology occupations in 2015 was $81,430. That's more than double the national average for all occupations, which is $36,200. Stay tuned for more facts in the day to come, days to come. BPA and DECA are conducting our annual food and toy drive through tomorrow. As a part of the food and toy drive, we invite all first period classes to be a part of a friendly competition in two different zones of the building with the winners in each zone receiving donuts. DECA students will do their pickup during first hour with BPA picking up during fourth hour each day. Pickup dates are as follows, December 8th, 11th, and 12th. Spectrum meets every Tuesday right after school until 3.30 in room L124. It's a safe space for all and everyone is welcome. Pizza Hut and Anoka is hiring cooks to work part-time. Stop by their location for more information and application details. It's time to take a look at the weather forecast. This week's weather forecast is sponsored by no one in particular. Let's send it over to Caitlin. Thanks, Kyla. When the news last left you, there was talk of 50 degrees and Anderson playing golf. Things have certainly changed, if you haven't noticed. It was snowy and cold this morning. The snow tapers this afternoon, and we should see a high of 34. The rest of the week looks calm but cold, lows in the teens and highs in the low 20s. That's your weather. Back to you. Thanks, Caitlin. Ah, oh, winter. Am I right? The Anoka Twisters dance team will be hosting a spaghetti dinner at Riverbend Bar and Grill tonight from 6 to 8 p.m. The evening will consist of socializing, dinner, and a raffle basket drawing put together by the Twisters. The Anime and Gaming Club meet the first and third Monday of every month from 2.45 to 4.15 in room N119. This is a great place to socialize, watch anime, and play games of all kinds. It's time to take a look at the busy world of Anoka Sports, and with that, here's Emma Daly. Thanks, Kyla. Hello, everyone. The boys' basketball team improved their record 2-0 with a 66-40 win last night over St. Francis. They take on Hill Murray tomorrow. The girls' basketball team is off to a 4-0 start. They won a nail-biter last Friday against St. Francis. They will take on Totino Briggs tomorrow night at home. The Anoka Gymnastics team opened up their season last Thursday with a win and were also in action this past weekend where they took third at Elk River Inventational. The team was led by Andrea Willitson, who took first in the vault, second on the floor, and third all around, and by Hannah, Hannah Tumalup, who took fourth on the bars, fifth on the floor, and fourth all around. Great job, ladies! The girls hockey team lost to Centennial on Saturday, bringing their record two and four. They will take on Andover tomorrow. That's it for sports. Emma? Thanks, Emma. Remember, if you miss anything on TV7 News, you can always watch us back by searching the Anoka TV News Channel on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe. Before we go, over the weekend, we celebrated National Pretend to be a Time Traveler Day. Ah, uh, time travel. I've always wanted to be a time traveler. What stops you? Time. And lack of plutonium. <laughs> Today's lunch is mandarin orange chicken. That's the news. I'm Emma. And I'm Kyla. And, and you're, you're watching TV7 News.